Welcome to Tessel Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Today we'll be covering ArcGIS Pro Hydrology Part 2 Delineating Watershed. In this video, I will discuss how to delineate a watershed using two tools from the Hydrology Toolbox, Snap Pore Point and Watershed. In a previous video, we have discussed the Flow Accumulation and the Flow Direction tool from the same toolbox and here we'll be using the results from that exercise. In this exercise, we are using the results derived from this DEM data. However, we'll be using a combination of this hail shed and the flow accumulation data for a better view of the landscape. This yellow dotted lines are actually the flow accumulation data. For the watershed delineation, we will start with the snap pore point tool. In ArcGIS Pro, we can delineate the total area flowing into a given outlet, also called a pore point, based on a digital elevation model. As the DEM is an array of evenly spaced grid cells with elevation values, we can calculate the direction of flow down a slope and how many cells flow into each cell using the flow direction and flow accumulation tools. In our map, we already have placed two point features on both sides of this hill. They were placed on top of the stream as correctly as manually possible. The snap port point command snaps these manual points to the nearest area of high flow accumulation. Inside the tool, the point data and the flow accumulation data are the two inputs. Snap distance is the maximum distance in map units to search for a cell of higher accumulated flow. You can keep it zero if you do not know the distance. And here is our output. If we zoom in, we will be able to see that the cell is perfectly sitting on top of this flow accumulation data. Next, we will be discussing the watershed tool. A watershed is the upslope area that contributes flow. This tool performs the watershed delineation based on the snap point. The inputs will be the pore point and the flow direction. The value of each watershed will be taken from the value of the source in the pore point data. Watershed tool only supports the D8 type flow direction raster, which we used to determine this flow direction data previously. This pore point field is optional. It is used to assign values to the pore point locations. This tool might take a few minutes to run. And this is our output. As we used two pore points on both sides of the hill, we got two different watersheds. This hill in between the watersheds works here as the drainage divide. To recap, we discussed how the snap pore point and watershed tools work, how they can be used to delineate a watershed along with the flow direction and flow accumulation data. I think this is a great stopping point. This has been Tessel Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Thank you for watching and please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us. Also, subscribe and ring that bell.